Hello Seahawks and welcome to another interview with an artist. I'm Hunter Jones. I currently serve as the 2020-2021 Bozeman Gallery intern for Campus Life. I work to ensure operations in and around the Anne Flack Bozeman Gallery run smoothly so that we can bring you, our students, staff, and local community such wonderful galleries. For the months of February and March, we have our 2021 scholarship show and this year's winner is Ann Miller. Hello Ann, uh, I hope you had a wonderful break and I'm so glad I get to sit down and talk about this gallery with you. Hey, I know. I'm excited too. Thanks for sitting down with me. Perfect. All right. So I got a list of questions for you and we can just jump right into it. Um, first question to start off with is where the inspiration for this gallery came from, because I know it has a specific theme to it. So if you mm -hmm. want to share that with our, uh, our viewers at home, that'd be wonderful. Yeah. So the female nude has been a really popular subject matter throughout art history, um, but they were historically always painted by male artists. Um, as females were banned from attending figure drawing classes. So as a female artist, I wanted to kind of take back the nude in a way and take advantage of my ability to study figure painting. Um, so this body of work serves as a dedication to women in art, as well as an exploration of different mediums and techniques. Wonderful. And that brings me to my next question um, on kind of how the, the process has looked for all of your pieces. How does your, your process kind of look? Do you work from a photograph or is it just purely um, imaginative, like coming straight from your mind? Uh, mm -hmm. What mediums do you use and how do you really kind of like plan compositions, selecting colors, et cetera? Mm -hmm. So I took my first figure drawing class this past semester. And so I was able to use a lot of my studies and drawings from that class, as well as some photos from the textbook for these paintings. Um, and I'm really drawn to color. So I typically start with choosing a color palette and that kind of leads me in my painting. Uh, so for part of this collection, I was really interested in exploring very saturated primary colors and wanted to do some monochromatic color schemes, which is different from the typically bold and contrasting palettes I tend to use. Um, and I usually use acrylic painting and I did some ink wash for this and some collage also. So I kind of got to do a mixture of things. Yeah, that was definitely the impression I got when I got to see them uh, yesterday. It was a very broad kind of diverse range of colors and just styles. And it was very uh, visually impressive to me uh, as you. someone who's not very familiar with art. Um, but I suppose up next we have um, have you been able to do kind of any work outside of school? Have you been able to do it more as a hobby or has it been strictly assignments that you've had to do in the past? I have been able to work outside of class and I think that's been a positive that's come from COVID. Um, just being home more often, it allows a little bit more time to be spent painting and that was definitely beneficial in being able to dedicate more time to working on this collection. Yeah, it's good to hear that you still kind of derive some enjoyment from doing it more as a hobby because I know some people can get pretty burnt out when it's being asked for them to do assignments after assignment and they're just like oh why, yeah. would, I, why would I paint when I have already done so much. <laughs> no I definitely love doing it outside of class too so I'm lucky. But yeah well that can be a, a challenge for some. Uh, I wonder if there are any sort of challenges you've uh, come across. What do you find challenging? Um, this can be just you know, day-to-day -day personal or the challenges during the creative process itself. It can be whatever you want it to be. Mm -hmm. I think my biggest challenge that I tend to face is um, during the creative process, kind of getting past like the ugly beginning stage of a painting. It can be really easy to get there and just feel like giving up and like moving on to the next one. Um, but especially working on this collection and working through each painting, I was able to kind of push through knowing that all the colors and brush strokes would come together in the end to kind of give me a good final product. And that it did, it really paid off. Um, I was wondering if there is any particular piece that you would consider your favorite. Uh, we will have a, a virtual um, gallery as well so people can mm -hmm. see which one you're talking about if you do. Have I think my favorite piece from this group of paintings it's called Phenomenal Woman That's Me and it's the largest one. Um, this one's kind of different than anything I've done in the past and I really enjoyed getting to play with a lot of patterns and getting really detailed with that. 
Um, and I also love, it's called A Hive of Honeybees, which is the yellow painting in the monochromatic series. That was actually the first one I did and it just kind of stayed one of my favorites throughout. Wonderful. Um, this is a more of a fun question uh, that I like to kind of throw in now uh, because it just kind of breaks up the, the, the flow a bit. But uh, do you have a favorite local restaurant? I love Dram Yard. Um, unfortunately, it's been closed for a while because of COVID. So I'm really hoping that it'll be able to open back up in the future because it's my favorite. It's so good. What did they serve? Uh, it's a tapas restaurant. So all kinds of things, but they have this like ciabatta bread soaked in olive oil. That's my favorite. It's the biggest piece of bread you'll ever see, but it's worth going there and trying it. I'll have to add that one to my list for sure. Um, is there anything you'd like to share with our viewers at home right now? Any kind of words of encouragement? Or otherwise, this is really just a time for you to be, to, to kind of have a voice here and just kind of express your um, I just Thoughts. hope that everyone comes by the gallery if they get a chance to check out the exhibit. And I hope that it allows for an opportunity to celebrate female artistic creativity. Perfect. Thank you so much. Well, again, thank you, Anne, for being here with me this morning. Um, today is F Doc for those at home. Uh, so that's why this one might have run a bit shorter than most, but this is still very important. And I hope all of you check it out at home or go in person if you can. Um, but yeah, and I wish you only the best going forward and congratulations again on being our scholarship Thank winner you. this year. For those at home or watching on your phone, if you like this talk, would like to see more, please head over to our UNCW Campus Life YouTube channel where you can find all our artist talks in virtual galleries. That's all from me. Uh, thank you so much.